Alright, so here you are. This is gonna be losers round two, not winners round two. Don't let the thing fool you. Give me one second. Alright. So Village of this is Fox. I'm I don't actively play Village anymore, but I played Village of this a lot, like, since the demo, like like progressively since the demo off and on. This was not a matchup I particularly liked, but I also just kind of had this thing where if the opponent had a had a project had a reflector I didn't like this. Villagers recovery is overrated! I was kind of had it in my head that like Reflector makes it hard to do anything because your main tools are usually like Lloyd and Slingshot and if it's all just reflected back at you, depending on how they use it. Obviously then you bait them into using it and punishing them fully, but it just always felt like more work than it was worth and I would rather just play with a different character. But from my understanding this matchup actually isn't that bad. Pinot will be even, maybe slightly Fox favored. So I don't know. Fox is Fox, he's like super good on stage and you get him off stage you can dismantle him. And I can see Village doing that really well because of slingshots, neutral up air down etc. Recovery, got a wall jump. Like all all the tools there to edge guard a character and Fox a character that can get edge guarded really easily. So I see this matchup being like really doable if you can just get the Fox off stage. But with how good Fox is on stage, that's the challenge. How well are you gonna get him off stage? And that's gonna be an up smash and Lucifer's gonna take game one with a clean two stock. I'm moving the wrong thing. I wish my stuff would auto align instead of making me manually do it every time, but we can't have nice things. Alright, so Lucifer's already up a game level bread. Red trying to decide where he wants to go. Finally gonna go ahead and go to Smashville. Gonna see where that takes him. He's gonna throw load out the box and lasers. He's gonna get the tree up. Got now got access to the axe. He's gonna try to be sneaky with how he approaches. He doesn't want it, anything reflected back at him. So he's gonna try to bait Fox into using the reflectors so he can punish him for it. You didn't grab that? Okay. Learning something new every day. Manages to. Uh, shield the eye out of the grab, or shield, whatever you want to call it. Use the, block the attacks to get out of the jab range, and then manage to actually get a grab before that last hit came out. I didn't even know that was a thing, but I guess it is. Brad teaching me how to play this character. Oh, he's gonna land that pot. I'm gonna get high. I actually really like uh, using the Lloyd Way because it still uses the Lloyd stall, but you don't have to worry about it being reflected back at you. Although at the same time, from that height, I wouldn't expect anything to really happen, even if he did reflect it. But to get him off stage, gonna go for the neutral air. Oh, he tried to get the back air. Gonna read the roll in with the up smash. Not gonna be able to do much to actually punish it, however. He's gonna roll past that up smash. Gonna read the jump with the neutral air. Gonna. Oh my god! That wasn't planned. That wasn't planned, but it was still amazing because everything Villager does is cool. He uh, he threw the Lloyd out, clipped Fox, uh, clipped Lucy Fox with a slingshot, knocked him off the platform, and he fast fell into the Lloyd at the blast zone, and he died. Red looking really strong this game. Goes for the pivot grab as I try to compliment him, and he misses. Wah wah. Okay, if he had done something off of that shine, that would have been sick. Right. Eats the hit of the Lloyd Rocket, gonna get a fully, not fully, but like gonna get some butter on that down smash, gonna take Bread's full stock. Lloyd, not as good of a move as it looks, is very punishable if you're able to react in time. Since the hip, since Lloyd doesn't have a hitbox until it starts moving in villages, left helpless while he's placing it for that good how the mini in for the second. Fourth of a second, eighth of a second, something like that, off the top of my head. I don't I don't know frames. I'm just kinda going by feel. 
I'd say, yeah, I'd say like a four to an eighth of a second. Gotta find that grab, maybe back though. I don't think we're gonna get an edge guard off of it. Oh, he's gonna be like, well, the up smash. I'm not gonna get myself it though. We're gonna come down hollow with a down air. He's trying to get, he's trying to get loose Fox to the so, so that he can axe him for it. Loose Fox not taking the bait. Tree now gone, but he's gonna have to put the tree in if he wants to set up. He's usually gonna put loose Fox off stage. Loose Fox is gonna make it back. Now with, he's gonna control center stage. Grab second the edge. Loose Fox is gonna find the grab. He's not gonna be able to do anything before Lloyd actually comes out. He's gonna reflect the Lloyd. He's gonna pocket it, and that Lloyd's gonna kill. He, he's gonna. Gotta fall into it by accident. That's gonna be game two in favor of Bread. We're now sitting in one-one situation. Fox gonna look at the stage list. He's gonna take it to Battlefield. Gonna try to get a lot of mileage off the platforms. Just a good up air strings would be my guess. Not since I've tried. I could try it again after the set if I want to give it a second. Where were the good? 30% lead. Uh, Loose Fox is going to find a throw. He's going to try to take Mother Throws. Mr. Loose is going to get a fail. Not going to get a footstool. But versus Villager, might probably wouldn't have killed either way. Oh, that's a good shield pressure with both of the Lloyds. He's going to try to bait. Loose Fox not going to buy it. Let me dash attack. Going to wait for the tech. He's going to go for the uphill, but he's going to miss. Give me some jabs, punch that get up. Loose Fox now in the lead in addition to having control the stage and momentum on his side. You're gonna find that up smash, but it's not gonna kill Red. You're gonna try to edge load him, gonna but Red able to fall low enough that Loose Fox can't really contest. Tree's on deck, which means Axe on deck, but that smash is gonna do it. Red now on potentially last stock of the tournament. Oh, he almost fell into the Lloyd. He tries to get the forward tilt and roll in on the, on the ledge get out, but not able to really connect it too well. Goes for the pivot grab, but Loose Fox, well, he, he throws out the grab a little too soon. Loose Fox landing right after it. Loose Fox didn't just shoot lasers. Make red come to hood. Gonna find the grab, gonna be back though, put a little off stage. Oh, he tries to intercept the Lloyd, but she's able to get just over it. He tries to pop the Lloyd, but it goes just under him. Oh, that's gonna be the down and she's gonna tech it. We dash tech, goes to an up air, not quite connecting them. It's gonna get back on stage safely and force it to the true way and shoot more lasers. Usually gonna catch her off guard, gonna put it off stage. 
Oh, that's that's not good. Okay, but he's gonna miss the he's gonna miss the slingshot. That could have been really bad. Oh, really good to pay who you're uh, rooting for. Up oh, smash, not quite gonna do it. 95% off stage. He's got a big deficit to make up. Once again, Fox. You can do a lot to Fox once you get him off stage. Just a matter of if you can get him off stage, if you can get those capitalizations. He went for the neutral air and he, he got like everywhere except for Fox and he he took the punish for it. And that's gonna be a set going 2-1 if they would lose Fox.